There are fresh concerns tonight over a new incident involving large numbers of dead and dying shellfish being washed up along England's northeast coastline. It echoes a similar mass die-off of sea creatures in the same area late in 2021. After investigations then, the government rejected claims that dredging for a new free port had stirred up pollution from the seabed. And that's the line they're sticking to now. Littered with dead and dying marine life, these bright, colourful beach huts overlooking what should be golden sands. Instead, today, it's a dark and devastating scene. I've never seen anything like this in 70 years. It's all going to be gone. There's going to be nothing left. And what about when you bring children to lift the rock pools up? There's going to be nothing there. Even in this tiny section, I can see thousands of shellfish. There are at least 20 starfish just here. And this is what it's like for a good 100 metres along this coastline. Rewind two years ago and this was how the beach looked. Fishermen here are blaming the construction of a £200 million levelling up Freeport and the dredging happening for that. The Environment Agency say that given the recent high tides and weather conditions, our experts have concluded it is a natural event, which is normal for this time of year. While we know people are concerned the combination of recent heavy swell, spring tides and onshore winds means natural wash-ups will occur more often. But that's not catching on. Right from day one, I have no doubt whatsoever, I've actually put it in writing, 99.9%, .9 it's the dredging activities here in the River Tees. So you and other scientists don't believe the Environment Agency's theory on why this is happening? Not a word of it. A panel set up to look at what caused the first mass die-off say dredging and chemicals were very unlikely the cause. The, the chance of dredging for the Freeport being anything to do with this was respectively less than 1% and less than 10% for a capital and routine dredging. And you can see for yourself, if you look at photos of Saltburn, uh, that there is a, a small deposit of sea coal which is washed up. That is absolutely normal for this time of year, as the Independent Environment Agency has made clear. But this continues to bring people down to the beach for all the wrong reasons. Kelly Foran, News at 10, Saltburn.